everybody, Edo here, and this is Wizard's Bluff live on Kickstarter now. And if you can't find it, it might be because you're not spelling it with a Z. But anyway, Wizard's Bluff, uh, before getting into the game, I have to say this prototype copy production value is stellar. And it's stellar in a way that it doesn't feel like it was handmade. It feels like this is actually a production version of it. I don't know, but I'm just really impressed with the box, the components, all that. I mean, the the these, these gems are pretty standard, but just very well put together. I also really dig the art. It's got this retro feel and I, I find it cute and enjoyable. So in terms of the game though, you know, Wizard's Bluff is one of those games that when you start playing it, the sort of this probably started out with a, a deck of cards. Feel comes from it. Each player starts with a hand that, you know, their own, but they have an A, an alchemist, and then uh, basically 2 through 12 with 10, 11, 12, uh, and, and uh, 12 being face cards, right? And then you've got your, your score tracker. So, you know, basically you, you have your hand, and everyone is trying to play to play the highest face down to you know, in a super war sort of way, have the highest number. And um, there's the alchemist doesn't can't win, the A can't win, but lets you go to the shop, which is a little bit of a market, I don't have it out, and get special abilities, special action, magic spells. Then the two is the playgrat, and the two can take out any of the face cards, and the face cards in the playgrat have uh, the diamonds on it. So you know, it sort of got that, well, higher number beats the lower number, but oh, you did this, oh, they cast that magic spell, that doesn't work that way. So it's a lot of sort of trying to guess what people are gonna do and how they're playing it. The other thing though, is when you play a card, you, everyone starts with some gems, they're worth points at the end of the game. Um, you're gonna play a gem on top of your card in the middle, so it's the cards with the gems. Winner takes all the gems, but also if your gem matches the color of one of the creatures played, so like if you have a, a white gem and somebody played a 10, you get to select the uh, same colored, uh, you know, element card. And these are set collection for additional bonus points at the end of the game. So there's some bluffing in terms of are you who are you going to play? Are you going low or high? That kind of bluffing. There's a little bluffing around, well, not bluffing, but trickery around having spells. And lastly, some sort of suggestion on, oh, I put the red gem down. What does that mean? And, oh, you know, that kind of thing. So, um... It's pretty straightforward. I think that, you know, it's it's on the lighter side. I enjoy this type of game. I like sort of thinking about what I'm gonna do and what the next person's going to do. The combination of the spells and the gems and some of the different scoring makes it a little bit loose. But I, I think it's good, it's solid. You, 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 it, it feels like again, hey, does this bring enough of a table that it's not just like playing with a deck of cards? And I think it does. I think between the spells and the set collection, there's enough here that it's different. Um, but it does still keep that vibe and that feel. And I think for a lot of people, they'll like that. I think for some people, they'll feel like, oh, it's a little simple. But um, I, 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 I liked the combination of the different ways you could try to use a spell or go for a different angle to, to win. Um, and I certainly think some people are better at this type of game than others. So... Wizard's Bluff. Hey everybody, Edo here, and thanks for watching Gaming with Edo. Reviews over here on this playlist, League and Insider videos over here on this one. Subscribe, share, all that good stuff, but most importantly, play some great games. Thanks.